Hello there, thank you for joining me for That's the Way It Is. I'm your host, BC. Uh, this story, uh, I mean, every now and then you come across a story, you got to say, you know, man, that is so great, and someone is going to be really rewarded. And what I'm talking about, if you've not heard, there's a tweet site called Tips for Jesus. Now, if you go to that site, you're going to see uh, photos of people with, lar with receipts with large amounts of tips. And what's going on is there's someone going around from coast to coast, you know, from New York to L.A. to even into Mexico, and they're living large sums for tips, anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000. That's right, you heard me correct, anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000. And he wants to remain anonymous. Uh, the only thing that people are letting out is that he's like a middle-aged man, and he pays one American, a black American Express card. Now, what that is, and you know, it's a invitation only card. In other words, uh, I guess you could say someone who has a lot of money is like a private club, you know, for the American Express members. So, and you know, in one, in one situation, I believe it was in LA, the man left, um, I think it was like uh, $4,500 for a tip or $6,000 for a tip, and said that if American Express has a problem uh, with the payment, to give him a call and left his phone number on the receipt. Yeah, that's right. He left his phone number on the receipt if there's a problem with the process of the payment. You know, I gotta say, you know, someone like that is someone who needs to be running this country. You know, because they're giving back. They're not taking, they're giving back. You know, and that's and and I think that, you know, this holiday season, I believe that this gentleman has the right idea. I think that, you know, we, we need now more than ever to learn what Christmas is about, what Jesus has done for us, you know, by being born and going through life and then dying, and, you know, ultimately dying on the cross for our sins. But, you know, the main thing is Jesus always gave. This man is always given, you know, and, he, and he's continuing to give, you know, and I think that is so great. So he's not even doing it in like one place. He's traveling and doing this. Now, I don't know if he's traveling for business. I don't know if he's traveling for pleasure. Um, they did say that in some of the locations he did have a uh, lady companion who I would assume would be his wife or daughter or, you know, someone he knows. But I think, it, I think it's great. And I think that is the message we need to take from this is that we need to give until it hurts. You know, sometimes you may have to tighten up your belt, you know, or you may have to uh, skip a coffee or something like that you know, to help to help someone else out, to help our brother out, help our sister out. You know, I think that we really, really need to follow this gentleman's example. You know, there I've even heard of a story of some someone going through a drive through and they said, I want to pay for the person behind me meal. They paid for it. Well when that person got up to the window found out someone paid for that meal, they said, Well let me do that. That's the thing, see, and it's, it's a domino effect. So what we need to do, we need to follow that domino effect. We need to go ahead and continue to give. Thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day, and remember, follow your heart.